by now you must have understood the concept of correlation. Now, we move to another concept multiple correlation. Under multiple correlation, we will try to understand the assumptions underlying multiple correlations, how to write objectives for multiple correlation, how to formulate hypothesis, how to analyze the data using statistical package and how to interpret the result. The assumptions underlying multiple correlations are number one there must be at least three variables of which one should be the criterion or dependent variable and other should be the predictors. Second, all predictors must be significantly correlated with the criterion or dependent variable. The third, the scale of measurement of all variables must be either interval scale or ratio scale. The objective should be worded like this to study the joint contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burn out of teachers. For this objective, the null hypothesis should be formulated like this there is no significant joint contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burnt out of teachers. From the SPSS output, we can make table 2. The title of the table 2 is joint contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burnt out of teachers. From table 2, it is evident that the multiple correlation coefficient is 0 0.98, which is significant at 0 0.01 level with d f equal to 2 oblique 297. It indicates that there is a significant joint contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting the burnt out of teachers. In this context, the null hypothesis that there is no significant joint contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burnt out of teachers is rejected. Further, the multiple correlation coefficient is 0 0.98 and the percentage joint contribution of self efficacy and emotional competence in predicting burnt out of teachers is 95.8 percent, which is quite high. Therefore, it may be said that both self efficacy and emotional competence jointly can contribute in the prediction of burnt out of teachers. Let us take another objective. The objective is to study the joint contribution of self confidence and intelligence in predicting achievement of students. For this objective, the hypothesis can be formulated in the null form and the wording will be there is no significant joint contribution of self confidence and intelligence in predicting achievement of students. 
to test this hypothesis, the multiple correlation method should be used and the data can be analyzed with the help of SPSS and the output of the SPSS is given in table 3. From the SPSS output, table 4 can be prepared. The title of the table 4 is Joint Contribution of Self-Confidence and Intelligence in predicting achievement of students. From table 4, it is evident that the multiple correlation coefficient is 0.77 which is significant at 0 0.01 level with df equal to 2 slash 57. It indicates that both self confidence and intelligence contributed jointly in predicting achievement and this joint contribution is significant. In this context, the null hypothesis that there is no significant joint contribution of self confidence and intelligence in predicting achievement of students is rejected. Further, the percentage of joint contribution of self confidence and intelligence in predicting achievement is 59.6 percent which is moderate. Therefore, it can be said that both self confidence and intelligence can be said to be the predictors of achievement of students.